and we're underway for the next game between the Hippos and the Bulls coming out onto the field both teams it's going to be an interesting game this one Hippos having a very very convincing win in that first game Bulls fighting hard having a good game but unfortunately going down to the Wolves in their first game so they're going to be looking for a bit of redemption in this game Hippos are looking to continue their winning streak with another solid performance. They've already had two great games this afternoon. I don't see any reason why this won't be a really good one as well. These two teams are really, really nicely matched up. Got some very strong players on both teams. So welcome to from wherever in the world you are joining us today. Uh, just take a brief opportunity to thank all of our sponsors here Upin, CPS Sammy Hippita for all his design work look at these fantastic BAs all the branding uh, Weltmeister, Howard Johnson the Business Club Hotel just doing a great service looking after all the players and feeding them as well it's no mean feat to meet all feed all these players for breakfast and dinner each day So they're getting ready to line up now. So wherever you are in the world, make sure you share this feed on. Let's keep growing the sport. Take those photos, get them on Instagram. Hashtags CPSL2019. Sound. Number one for the Jinja Bulls, Poyo Jin. Number three from Germany, Oli Sibeki. Number four from the Netherlands, Stiervo Hogele. Number six from Northern Ireland, Zeke Wilson. Number eight from Russia, Vladimir Satarov. Number nine from Hungary, Geza Zuks. Captain number 10 from New Zealand, Anthony Baronson Venui. For the Hippos, number one from Hungary, Miklos Timmer. Number two from Poland, Lukas Pilars. Captain for the team. Number three from New Zealand, Cole Hawkins. Number five from Russia, Ivan Debelli. Number seven from Chinese Taipei, Mark Huang. Number nine from Malaysia, Mohammed Adil bin Abu. And number ten from Argentina, Nicolas Fasse. So the players will now take their three minute warm up period and on to our referees we have Alan Winter from Wales and Evan Kong from Singapore our two ICF international referees so just while they warm up I'm just looking out into the crowd up here we've had it's quite quiet this morning at the, at the first set of games, but it is actually a working day here following a, a bank or national holiday last week. So it's really good to see a nice crowd in here this afternoon. Players are up there taking photos at the moment with a few of the different people up there. Lots of kids as well. We had some kids join us on the, on the walk-in earlier. Very excited to get their hands on all the different equipment and play around with it. crowd have been really getting into these games and no surprise those last two games were really really good games so they've picked a good session to come and watch we're expecting a, a much bigger crowd tomorrow for Sunday it's a day off here in China lots of tickets already gone there's gonna be a big opening ceremony as well so make sure you tune in three games tomorrow as well so this will be an interesting lineup between these two teams. Hippos having a very strong game in the first half. 
We got 26 shots and 12 goals. So conversion rate there of 46%. So they're looking to hopefully keep that up in attack. While at the other end, number nine, Mohamed Adil Bin Abu, with six saves as goalkeeper. So he's going to be spending a lot of time in goals. That's a lot of shots from Hippos in that first game. Yes. It's peppering in that. I mean, obviously, a lot of those were scored as well, but against a tougher team like this, they're going to have to up their conversion rate or just be a little bit more sensible about when they take the shot. This uh, goalkeeper for the Bulls team from Singapore. Poe is a, a fantastic keeper, very, very quick reactions, especially out to the corners of the net. But they'll know that. They'll be expecting this to be a tight game. Yeah, the Bulls, on the other hand, they got 16 shots off in their first game, but only four goals. So they're really going to be wanting to get that conversion rate higher, making sure that every time they're going forward, they're taking their time, creating that space and getting a strong shooting opportunity in there. Only three keeper saves from Poe in that previous game, but a number of mistakes from the team as well, but some good, good blocking in defense. They got six blocks in between the team so very strong defense in there yeah that's what it's all about statistics can be misleading it's, it's not always about the number of shots that a goalkeeper obviously saves if their defense is doing a great job in front of them then they're not going to get the opportunity to save nor would they want to your goalkeeper is your last resort so you work hard to get the blocks first and then anything that comes through both teams just coming in for their final chats final team talks And with that, we're going to be lining up and getting this game underway. Any predictions for me, David? Oh, this is a really tight one. I think I think the Bulls will be a little bit wounded from that first game. They're going to be uh, they're going to hit this game hard from the running. And uh, Hippos won't really challenge as much. They look a little relaxed right now. I'm joking on the line there. I think Bulls could take an early lead here, and then then we could be in for a cracking game. Yes, we've already seen. The favourites, the Tigers, go down to the Wolves, so we might have another upset here. We'll see how we go. Ooh, oh, great contact there. How's that being called? Ref oh, nice sportsmanship there. Referee determining that the Hippos player couldn't get out the way. That's Mark Huang. Yep. There's, you can see there the contact with Stevo's vest with the front of Mark's boat. So foul is there that's why they got they got to the ball there at pretty equal timing but that's why you've got to get underneath because if you make it underneath with equal timing then you're always going to get the foul because you've made more of an effort to avoid the contact so balls with the first attack of this game taking their time moving it around the outside playing two in quite a common tactic so far looking for the feed inside Stevo just Coming in there. Is he for the shot? Oh, it's, it's off safe. the bottom bar. Keeper was quite far out of position there as well. If he'd angled that to either side, he still a good chance. But they still have the ball. They've got another 60 seconds on that shot clock. Stevo just taking a dribble. Poe driving it in there. Nothing on. Resets. They're very efficient with the ball, the Bulls. That's one, one run already made within a five-second period. Second run coming. Geza with the ball there, just looking for the pass back out. Poe sending it across. Stevo just taking his time. Back to Poe, back to Geza. The pass in is there. He's made it through to Ollie. Can he gather? He's no. on a bit of an angle, it's back out again. So they've still got time. So there's five seconds on that shot clock, so they're really needing to get it off quickly. It's 15 oh. on the clock on the pitch right now, but they still get it away. That's right, we now have a reset on that shot clock with that corner. So the Bulls will have another 60 seconds. Bulls players working really hard in there. There's only one in at the moment, they've just switched up, they've gone to four. 
I'm going to put another man in. Yep, Zeke Wilson is heading back in there. He works really, really hard to make a space. And they have left a gap. Poe gets the shot away. Great oh. finish. There we go. The first goal of the game. So after two minutes, goes to number one for the Bulls. Poe use run. You see, he just gets the, that's a great pass because it just puts it right in the position for Poe to get the shot away. And it's so easy when the ball fits perfectly into your hand there. There's nothing else you're going to do from that moment than fire it. And he takes the opportunity. All right, now the Hippos have a chance to attack. Really their first attack of the game. So you can see the Bulls are very vocal there. They're very happy with each block, and each save from the keeper. So they're looking to replicate those Wolves against the Tigers. Have a very strong early performance and just keep that momentum, try and upset the Hippos. Great pass. Where's cool there is for a foul. Oh, that's a missed opportunity. I'm not sure the referee saw that that ball had made it quite into the middle. They get the green card, so that will start to count against the other team. If they get too many, it will be a yellow card. But so that card goes against number nine, Geza Zouk. Yeah, because there was a little disappointment from Cole there because that ball had been fed perfectly under the goal for him. He's head down and working hard. To Belly Ivan with the ball there last year's player of the championship. Just looking to make the run on the right hand side. This is nice and patient from the Hippos, not panicking one down right at the start of the game. Oh, that's why he is so revered in this competition. Just looked like he was going to take a shot there at all and gave the keeper no chance. That came from nowhere. Looking inside, yeah. No look shot right off the top bar and in. Not well placed, but well, well placed off the top bar, but he fires it so fast. Volley for the Bulls, just taking the ball down the right, putting it back into Stevo. Sends it down the other side, but there's a fumble there and the Hippos pounce on it. Yeah, I think that would be classed as a, as a mistake. It's a nice very fast, fast in. very fast transition there. The whole team, the Hippos, is racing to the other end. That was really well covered by Anthony Barrington there. The captain of the Bulls worked really hard to get back and get that push in and stop the break as a result. Ivan just racing down that right-hand side. Oh, he's gone for exactly... Th that was a carbon copy of what happened before, except that this time it came off the inside of the bar and came back out. Bulls have got to watch that left-hand side, clearly. Hippos have won the corner. We'll continue their attack. Looks like we're going to get this really, really tight game we were hoping for. Don't see any team taking a significant lead in this game at the moment. This is probably, I think this is probably the, the slowest game in terms of goals so far. Had almost... Well, almost one half of a half played and only a goal each. It's a tight game. Every goal is going to be really, really important. Oh, what a strong shot there from Cole Hawkins. Number three for the Hippos. Just big round arm, just trying to catch Poe off guard. And another Oh, shot. wow. Look at the power on that shot. Wait for this goal. replay. That was... Wow. Big goal there from Ivan. Oh, Poe, he's he even got a paddle to that and it's still rocketed into the back of the net. That's heartbreaking for any goalkeeper to get a full paddle blade on something and it still end up going in. Balls with the corner now. The attack will continue. So as to be said, the Hippos have done well. They went 1-0 down in this game and they've drawn it back on 2 up, or 1 up now. Holly just feeding the ball around the back. And that's Vladimir's now on as well. Oh, not sure who that's on really. Rough turnover. Mark Wong, open goal. Can he finish? Pressure. Does well. 
Nicely done. Looks simple to chase it up the pitch with two men behind you and put it into an open net, but those players behind are trying to twist his boat, trying to make him make a miss stroke, anything just to put him off, and he's still got to finish it, and he does really well. So the Bulls, two down. Over halfway through this first half. This one on the left hand, can't get the ball back over. Stevo is looking for that drive up the left hand side. Gays are just sending it back out to Ollie. And they've got Ollie. to work. They've got to work Stevo into this game a bit more. I don't think he's had a shot off yet, and he is a fantastic shot. And there it is. Whoa! Very unlucky there. That's a, that's a difference in keeper there. I'm pretty sure the keeper got full blade to that and stopped it, and that was a hard shot. But it was right in the middle of the net. Oh, what is that? Was that was that a pass? Was that a shot? It was a bit of a mistake there. Okay, so we need a timeout now. I think it's good timing for the Bulls to take a timeout. You get one and a half, so they know they're two down, can have a discussion, change things up. They've got four minutes, so it'll have enough time to implement whatever they're going to be talking about. It doesn't look like we're going to get a replay of that pass at the end, but that was really surprising. That was I, a I think he was going for the shot, but right. it just fumbled in his hand, so really unfortunate there. They could have really punished the Bulls for that sloppy turnover at the other end. Yeah, I'm not sure if our statisticians will put that down as a mistake, but he had a man completely free under the goal. If he'd popped it over the top of the player's head, he was against him. <laughs> it's funny, look how relaxed Stevo is there, spinning the ball in his finger. Not panicking now, 2-0 down. Still 14 minutes in this game, so... We do have to look at how he gets into the game more, though. We saw in that first game, despite losing, they did have some good attacking plays, creating some strong wedges that he raced down the middle of and got some good shots and some strong goals. So they'll hopefully try and replicate that again. Well, I think in the training games, he's maybe been taking a little bit more of a run by himself. He's getting fed runs here, but he was taking the ball by himself and going past the player. Maybe just not wanting to, you know, players. Oh, that's a great pass. Yeah, Vladislav with the oh, shot. The bar. That w that bar. was a really, really good pass. Blind as well. Unfortunately, bouncing favourably for the hippos. Oh, the break again, is on. Fast break. Making it to Miklos. Just deciding to slow it down a bit because the Bulls have managed to get back in time. So Lucas Pilar's in the first game scored five goals out of seven shots. It's a fantastic conversion there for the Caton Hippos, but they haven't really managed to feed the ball into him in the middle once yet. I don't think he's had a shot away in this game at all. So the Bulls are doing a good job of keeping it from going into the middle of the zone, but just those blazing shots from the outside so far from Ivan to Belly. Oh, I think that's a bit harsh. Gives him the chance to reset the clock. No card though, so just a minor foul. Frustrating to give away that kind of foul though. There was 30 seconds left on the clock. So they're trying to force them to take a shot from further out. They get another 60 seconds to work something with two goals up. So just resetting again. 25 seconds on the clock now. Ivan looking for that shot again. Down the middle. This is what the Bulls want. Time just ticking away and nothing really clear on right now. We're going to have to take a shot from behind the paddles. Oh, you knew that was coming the second he looked off to the side. Good save though, still has to be made. <laughs> Lucas looking for the ball into the middle there, but it was seen, blocked off. Good block. Is the break on? Can he get it away? 
Good Lots pass there. Gems. Just takes it. This is still on. Can he get it back? Great pass. Nice. Knew, where his, knew exactly where his oh, man was. Got to finish. Oh, had to finish that. Amazing block there from Nico Fasso from Argentina, number 10. One on one. Good placement on the side. That is a really good block. Bulls won't get many opportunities like that in this game. Neither team will. Still have the attack though. Got to reset. He's just incredibly deep there. One minute left. Oh, they have played Fades it inside it in. to the captain. One more. Po oh, oh, that's. Oh, let's see what the referees call here. But that was clearly onto a boat. And the penalty is called. So he was positioning himself there for a shot. There was nothing else coming but a shot there. One on one with the keeper. And the referees have decided that that is worthy of a penalty. So only a green card for the foul. Just remembering that in the CPS rules, it is not an immediate yellow card when a penalty is given. A green card can be given in its place. And the penalty is different. So we it get this a ten halfway seconds. penalty with 10 seconds. So Ollie will paddle up and he'll be able to shoot. Great finish. He sent the keeper one way there and went the other. Just touch of a fake on the right hand side and then arched it over his body to put it into the left hand side of the net well taken it's a very tense experience taking one of these hockey style penalties not as easy as a static one from an attacking point of view but it does give you more options on your shot hippo is just looking to take the full 35 seconds just weighing the clock down getting one final shot off to feed it in. Oh. Went for the Went for tricky. the shot, but there was a goalie foul before then, so the Bulls will have the ball. They've pressed on them with the 24, though. They're just trying to stop the ball from getting up the pitch, so they have to throw something from far away with these 20 seconds left on the clock. That's smart play from the Hippos, and it's won them the ball as well. Nice now they get the opportunity. There. Mark just unsure of where to get get it to, being pressured by two people, gets the pass off nicely to Ivan, takes the shot. I think he's maybe taking one or two many shots now, I think he could have worked one of his own players in there. Yeah. There he has got a few goals though, so he will have a lot of confidence. Only a couple of seconds left on the clock. Miklos going to take it. Three Make seconds to do dribble. something special. And Ooh. the sh twisting shot goes over and it is half time. So Great. Hippos lead the Bulls three goals to two. Great first half there. We're going to pass over to the man, the myth, the legend, Ed Lark for the second half. and in a few minutes we're going to be back for this second half between the Hippos and the Bulls. Joining me for the second half, Ed Lart from the Commandos. Ed, how are you? Yeah, really good after that last game. We did a really good performance. We played the ball really well. We took our time. We managed to hold the ball when they were pressing five out and uh, yeah, really happy with the performance. Yeah, strong performance. Good to get back into the winning books after that first game. So. Yeah. Another loss would have seen us in a bad way. Our team would have felt miserable, but overall now we are feeling happy and looking to move forward on the competition. Yes, so three goals to the Hippos, one goal to the Bulls. Bulls are two goals down. 
What do you think Anthony's talking to his team about at half time? That the mistakes need to be limited. We n um, they need to take the right chances, but if they pr try too hard and the ball is blocked, this will just turn into the hippos breaking on them, which will not be good for them. And the hippos, two goals up, they're going to be looking to make sure that they continue yeah. this. Really, they just want to keep the ball and keep how they are playing. They are playing really well. Ivan is having some really good shots. Yeah, they're going to... I think they're going to need to just slow it down a little bit, make sure that they've got time, they're taking it, they're making sure that the shots are on. Ivan scored some yeah. good goals early on, but then did take some shots that he may not necessarily have had to, so they may have had a bit of a chat, just be patient, wait till the shot's on, take their time. I think both sets of keepers are having a really good game, just unlucky for the orange team. Bit of a quiet game from Cole Hawkins of New Zealand for the Hippos. So we'll see if he Maybe can he'll work get his way this second half, I think. Yeah. All right, we're just about to start the charge start. And Ollie, Ollie has the ball. Oh, bit of a clash there, but. Yeah, so Mark, as you can see there, just caught Ollie's paddle in the helmet there. So, a little bit of a clash, but the foul was, Mark did foul Ollie so, with his boat, so the Bulls will start with the ball. Mark's just subbed off to make sure that his helmet is all good. And some excellent work going in the zone by number six. Yeah, Zeke Wilson of Ireland for the Jinjori Bulls. Uh, just working really hard in to get inside to create some space. So they've got and a Steve free. in front of the goal, looking to score off this free shot. He's got a few paddles in the way, but he has a very strong shot, so. Well, I'm blocked, but straight back to him. Yeah, just pumps a fake, but sends it back out again. So the Bulls got the full shot clock, so they're going to take their time. Vladimir really working hard in the zone, very frustrated. A shot there from Stevo Hergele again, but blocked. Bulls still Corner have the has ball been though. given another 60 seconds on that clock. All right, so the Bulls just trying to feed the ball in, but unsuccessful with that. The Hippos do gain possession, but a loose pass there nearly is pounced on by Zeke, but Hippos just Cole take Hawkins the ball out. Cole Hawkins give a really good pass to number two, the captain. So Lucas Oh, on a very good shot. I think it may have been a corner. No, Goal line there, just slightly wide. He did have the passing option for an open shot, but trusted himself to take it. May not have been the best decision, but... Bulls just slowly working the ball up. Got two players on the inside, just trying to create some space. Stevo, Poe and Ollie on the outside just working the ball back and forth, waiting for that opportunity to present itself. Now Poe drives now down nice the middle. Screen. Ollie, Ollie with the ball. Oh, Goes out nice, for a corner. Nice shot but blocked. Great block from Miklos for the Hippos. The captain pushing on the corner. And it looks like they are doing a now a chasing two defence to put pressure on the ball to keep the orange away from the goal. 
We want to push on the front, but five seconds. Poor really working hard to get back to goal. So Hippo is just looking to try and spend some time in attack. They've been defending quite a lot this half. And they get the bo ball and get the game back on their terms. Number two going down the centre. Oh. Ivan is through on goal. Almost. Ivan and Nick. Oh, nice oh. save by Pup. They do have the corner. Ivan now is working inside the zone. A very big player, very hard to move. And it goes out for another corner. Cole Hawkins trying to put a goal. I've been really working hard in that zone to make a space. And another, ooh. another strong shot there, just going over. So the Bulls will have the ball. This is where the Bulls really need to get the ball up and score. Hippos are really pushing out, trying to pressure, to get the, win that ball back. But it does pose some opportunity for the Bulls to then get in behind the Hippos and have a strong chance of getting back in this game. I'm working really hard again in the middle to make that space. Oli says it is not on. Vladimir looking on goal. And the shot deflected. They do have the corner and the reset on the shot clock, but Vladislav is just a bit frustrated with that shot option. He knows it, so Things are going to work a bit harder, create that better shot. Mark needs to watch. I mean, Zeke needs to watch Jocelyn outside the six metres. Now Hippos are breaking. They have two on two. Ooh, pressure on the ball. Anthony Baronson for the Bulls leading by example with some strong pressure there to try and win the ball back. The Bulls may press five out soon. They need a result. Oh, and a beautiful goal. What a very, very nice goal there. Bulls, two goals down now. At this time, when they make all the time out, they will be probably saying to push five. A very good shot off the go corner of the goal. Very unfortunate there. The space was there, the shot was on, but just a centimetre or two too wide. And the Hippos may punish them for it. Oh, Zeke needs to work hard here. Hippos just taking their time now. Yeah, the hippos can just chill here and uh, let the ball work around. Lucas just oh, seeing there is a nice ball thing. and a shot. Oh, very well caught by Zeke. Cole won't be happy with that. And Poe is free with a man on his back. So Bulls may punish the Hippos here, but... They really need to be pushing soon if they want a result from this. And another corner. Ollie with the shot there for the Bulls, but deflected under.
Geza Zooks for the Bulls, just taking the corner now. Oh, and a very nice goal by number nine. Geza Zooks from Hungary. Just after taking Ollie the corner. working really hard to get the keeper on. So he comes on to the left side. Now moves over to the right. So there's been a the ref foul just here. positioning the players. And a very Ivan. good save by Pearl. Hippos with the corner. Gonna make the most of this full 60 seconds. Bulls with a nice tight defence. Steve has won the ball back. An illegal push, his shoulders were not above the water. Bulls will look to make the most of this and get the ball back down the other end. The Bulls must score the next goal to be back in the game. Indeed, they've got 30 seconds on the shot clock now, so... They do have to t start creating some spaces and get that shot through. Stevo just Ooh, right nice down pass the to Oli. But the attack was unsuccessful. So just Anthony working. really working hard on that left side. And the shot to and another, it out for a corner. Another 60 seconds on the clock. This is what the Bulls want. A draw would make this group very difficult as there is only one group. Really both teams want a win here. Steve edging in. Passes Being the ball two. Through. Zeke sends it back out again. We've got 40 seconds on the shot clock so they've still got plenty of time. Anthony about to go in. He's a very big player. Played in 06, 08, 010 and 012 champs. And the shot New Zealand. Shot from Geza just blocked. Two minutes left on the clock and the Bulls really need to score to be in the game. Ollie just taking a dribble from the corner, trying to create some space. Looking at the shot. And a nice try to see if he can feed it over to the centre. Stevo just with a quick pass into Geza. Nice ball into Geza Anthony. To Anthony. And the shot's blocked. Hey. Anthony with the ball. Back out again. One minute. 30, 30 on the clock. So they're still taking their time. Being patient, trying not to rush it. They are a goal down, but they know that if they do... Really, they want to work two attacks here. Ooh, very nice pass to Stevo. And the ball comes in to Anthony. Oh, block. They need to push five really now. If they want to be in the game. I think Stevo is calling for five. And they can't call timeout because they're not in possession of the ball. It's really unfortunate there because there was a deflection off a paddle, but referees missed it. So the really need to hippo pressure ball. this ball. Oh, hippos are. Oh, very nice. They need to move now. They need to move. Oh, very good by Ivan. And can move. 
Oh, and that sums it up. Unfortunate there. Strong play from the hippos, just putting a bit of pressure on them in the center while the ball no. is trying to press and just getting that loose player and getting that open goal. So they're two goals up now, so 35 have a nice seconds. Confident lead. 30, 30 seconds left, so Bulls really have to try and get a fast goal to then get a second. Really, they should be working the attack through now. They have two goals to get. Ollie with the ball. Oh, nice shot, but caught. The ball may have gone out, almost gone out for a corner there, but he called timeout just before. So yes, they have called a timeout. So both teams will have a bit of a chat. I think this may have been tactical by Lucas. The um, Bulls are very unhappy with that because they've been told that the rule is that they can only call a timeout when there is a dead ball. And that ball was not dead, that ball was still in play. And so they're questioning that with the referees. The referees are having a discussion about that. Um, and they have oh. they have stopped the timeout and they have started play. So the play will continue because there no. was not an appropriate time for the hippos to call a timeout. But now the moment has been lost. Yeah, so that is very They have been able to set up a nice defence. On seven through. Oh, nice pass. But Steve recovered the ball, but that's the end of the game. Yes, that is full time, and the Hippos win that one. Five goals to three. So unlucky for the Bulls. That means that they have lost both their games. Very unfortunate, but good work from the Hippos to stay in that game. Very tight, very well fought from both teams, strong defence, but Bulls just not quite having that extra factor in attack to be able to break open the Hippos' defence.